restore hundreds of millions of lives by now. Malaria is down by 40% in Africa. Maternal mortality is down by half of what it was in 1990. Clean water is coming to communities. Safe lighting is coming to communities. Not because it is binding, but because people have taken action. They've been inspired. They have said, I want to contribute. This is the challenge of our time. Governments have come around. And I can tell you 10 years ago, people said Millennium Development Goals, oh, that's a nothing. Why this? Why that? 10 years later, not only are they there, they are guiding governments, civil society, communities around the world. Let's think about this because today at Rio, we are invited and you, the young generation, are invited to pick up the torch with the Sustainable Development Goals. This will be the historic contribution of Rio Plus 20 if you make it happen. So the Sustainable Development Goals are a call to world action. They are not a treaty. They are not going to get stuck in legalisms. They are a call for the world to commit to sustainable development at the core of your generation's challenge. And that is absolutely your generation's unique challenge because no generation before you has faced this challenge in the way you will, like it or not. And you don't have the luxury of wasting 20 years like has just happened. You do not have time. That's why it's so exciting for you. You have to move. And you have to move fast. And we're going to help you to do that. I promise you. But you have to take the lead. We need to... goals real by next September because that's the handover, the final review of the Millennium Development Goals is at a special session of the United Nations in September 2013. And we need to hand over to the Sustainable Development Goals for the period 2015 to 2030. Now to my mind, Sustainable Development Goal number one is to finish the work of the MDGs to end extreme poverty in our time. This is possible. Put it number one of the SDGs and get it done. You've got momentum there and you can do it. But now you have to put the environment together with every economic and social goal. There's no time to lose because we've already come to the edge of the abyss. And it's already over the edge for people in the Sahel and the Horn of Africa and the other dryland parts of the world who are suffering more drying, more climate change, not as a future concept, but now it's happening. They are just poor and voiceless, except if you help give the voice, you the activists around the world. So this can be done. Now, we live in the age of networking. And we happen to have at the table the greatest networker in history right here, Ted Turner. He invented the global network. He invented it. I am right, of course. <laughs> and I've been watching his network every day since he invented it. In every hotel room, every village, every cantina that I happen to be in, there is CNN telling me what is happening in the world. Now you have taken the networks farther. And what Ted and I and the Secretary General have been discussing and many others is a sustainable development goal network that can help to link together SDG leaders all over the world.
to empower the whole global network with ideas, best practice, scientific and technological knowledge, exchange of information. I want to see the SDGs in every schoolroom around the world. Of course, I want to see them stated so clearly that a young school child will know them and know why sustainable development is important for her future. And we need to make sure that the SDGs don't become a 300-page book. Agenda 21 was a wonderful thing, but you could not have a school child tell you what it is. We need to have the SDGs in our minds, the school children, the secondary schools, the universities, because this has to be the generation of sustainable development. You have no other choice or it will be the last one that has a hope. And so this is what the SDG network will be committed to do. And with Ted leading the way, Secretary General leading the whole global initiative as part for real and completely committed to this, and with you, the youth, taking on this challenge as leaders and actors in this, you have a clear mission, you have a clear time horizon, you have a mandate, 